Pisces, welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna be diving into part three of what's in my vanity, my makeup collection slash my organization, you guys. I know it's been a road, but we're on part three. We only got one more part. We're gonna be doing part four as well. Part four will be the last of this little series. So I hope you guys have stayed tuned in part one and part two, but we're gonna be diving into part three now, you guys. So if you didn't get a chance to see part one and part two, it is definitely in my little library. So go check out those videos, you guys. I will also tag those in there so you can get to those a little more easier access. But other than that, you guys, let's dive into this. So we're going to be taking the second half of my Alex 5 drawer, which is part of my vanity desktop, you guys. So we're going to start from top to bottom. So the first thing you can kind of see is I do have this purple acrylic. It is from uh, Amazon. I will link that in there for you guys. Um, you guys always see my little sign all the time. I got that actually from Boxy Charm quite some time ago. But the first thing you can see, which is not in anything or organized, is my new um, Gishu. This is the Honey Infused Lip Oil. Um, I will have a review coming out for you guys. I just wanted to take some time to really put this on my lips and see how it does. And then I'll give you my thoughts on it. So um, let's get into the first top drawer of this acrylic. Um, not too much in here. It's kind of like my mesh drawer of, of things um, <laughs> or things I kind of need to be using. And mostly I try and keep eye products in here. So I have these under eye um, eye patches from Rare Beauty. I actually got these free from Influencer, you guys. And then I also have this Peter uh, Thomas Roth. This is the Instant Firm um, Eye, the Temporary Eye Tightener. If you're someone who is um, more mature and uh, suffers from like baggy eyes or anything like that, try this. It definitely works. Go on TikTok, look at some videos of some older um, mature ladies and they will definitely show you the results and they are definitely real. I so much do not use this. I think it was just like the whole effect of me just seeing people's results and I just tried it and I, then I was like, I really don't need this. <laughs> not yet anyway. So also I have in here, this is the RME Beauty or the REM Beauty. This is their one of their eye creams and I cannot think of what it is called. Let me see. The writing on here is so small. It is the Cooling Blurring Under Eye Balm and it does have like a cooling effect and you can use this under makeup, you guys. This is something that is fairly new in my collection. Um, I do have this <clears throat> other cooling um, under eye, I guess you could say product. This one is from Milk. It also has a cooling sensation to kind of reduce puffiness and all that jazz. A third one, which you probably won't be able to get your hands on unless it's from like a third party retailer or something like that. Uh, somebody personally selling these products. Um, what's left of this company because Becca is no longer with us, but this is also one of their eye, um, eye under eye balms This is probably like the first one I got and it's an anti-fatigue under eye primer for your under eyes and She's not bad. I actually don't mind her. I have this new lash serum from cover girls This is the lash blast lash and brow serum and then I still have these um, <laughs> Illumify um, they're basically eye drops. They're supposed to make your eyes more white. I still haven't tried those. They're probably about to get, like, be expired, I would say, sometime soon. Let's see. Yeah, they expire in August. So, either I'm going to use it or I'm not, but it's in there. It does look like we're losing a little bit of our sunlight, so I have added a little bit more lighting, you guys. Um, looks like it might start raining, but let's get into this second drawer here. In my second drawer, um, I just basically have these under eye patches that basically help with fallout. Um, they actually help shape like for, um, what do I want to say, eyeshadow and stuff like that. So I actually got these from Walmart. They came in a big old pack, you guys. So that's why there's like a thousand right here. Also, some eye tape from Sephora kind of does the same thing, just more like for 
um, eyeshadow placement and to do your under eye. Um, this half moon, actually, I got this from BoxyCharm, kind of does the same thing, helps with fallout, can also help shape for eyeliner, and also can help um, direct your eyeshadow placement as well. Same thing here at the bottom. Also from Sephora, these are the reusable shadow guards. Um, and you basically place them underneath your eyes. They do the exact same thing these other ones do, but they just kind of stick to the uh, surface of your face. You can wash it off and reuse them. This is a eye stamp that I got from Ulta. It's basically, if, especially if you like to do like cut creases, you can put some concealer or even other different eyeshadows on there, step it on your eye, kind of make life a little bit more easier. And then I think those are just the instructions for it. Yeah, those are just the instructions for it. Like I said, you can get that at Ulta. And it is raining, so you'll probably hear that kind of give you a little ambiance in the background, <laughs> a little calming effect. I don't mind it. But in this third drawer, you guys, I kind of just have a lot of like accessory type things in here. Um, I do have my, basically this is coffee and every time like when I'm smelling samples of anything, I literally repurpose this. Um, it was a Gishu, their um, honey infused hair mask was in here. I cleaned it out, repurposed it with my coffee. <laughs> um, these are basically just lip applicators. If you saw the little ones that stick onto your Laneige jars, I actually bought some of those and I actually have given away some of those as well. Um, tape just in case. <laughs> I have this foundation. Um, basically, you can call it like a mixing palette. Um, it just goes right onto the thumb. Actually, it goes on the other side of my thumb, but you can put your foundations on here, mix in, um, you know, if you have to mix your foundations or any other thing that you want to put on your face, that's basically what it's for. I think they got that from Sheen. Probably like a dollar, you guys. Um, what else do we have in here? I have a depotting tool that actually came with these magnetic pieces. They actually bought these to go into my magnetic palette um, just in case the um, eyeshadows I depotted or pulled from their plastic at, um, containers didn't stick. I have these little magnets that just peel off and then they stick onto the back of those eyeshadows, okay? Same thing here again. This is a depotting tool with a um, foundation palette or any type of mixing palette, you guys. And then I have some hair clips from Sephora to put in my hair back when I'm doing my makeup. So those are in there just in case I need them. So like I said, it's just my little mesh drawer. What else is in here? Anything else? Oh, this is just a little like scooping tool. It's still in the plastic. It's just in there. <laughs> Getting into the third drawer, we do have some more lip therapies in here. So I have pretty much all my little mini Vaseline's over here. So I have the Creme Brulee, I have the Cocoa Butter one, I also have the Rose one. As you see, it's pretty much full because at the time when I bought this, I didn't realize I really didn't like the taste of Rose, an original one. I've got these Jouer mini, um, essential lip enhancers. So I have the one, this one is vanilla. This one is pumpkin spice. And the last one is glazed maple. And I think they still sell that on Sephora. I will link it if it does. Um, this Laneige lip therapy product. Um, this is definitely different from their um, other lip sleeping masks. This is more of a, uh, I wanna say it has like a minty, type of feel on it almost like a uh plumper but it's not this little fresh advanced therapy i actually have another one don't ask me what happened to it it was the mint one but it's obviously missing i have this sugar rush um lip balm from uh tart this is the lip butter balm in peony peony can't even talk and then i have three of the tatcha lip balms in here I have the original, which is a mini of the Kissy You Lip Balm. I have two of their holiday collections. This is the Kissy You Lip Balm, and I think it's called, I think it was called Cor Cornelia. And then this one is their newest one that came out last year. 
and I did make a video of it not having a hard time. I think it was cherry blossom. I can't even remember now that I think about it. I have this uh, Hano, Hano Lee lip <laughs> treatment. Like I said, I keep lip treatments in here. And it's almost gone. It's also in there. I think I got that from Etsy. And then I just have two little spatulas. You can see right down at the bottom just to dip things out of. And then the last drawer down here has all of my Laneige lip sleeping masks. As you see, there's quite a few in here. So um, I do have the latest one, which is the, I think it was the BTS um, little collab that they had. And it had this one, which is butter in there. Um, butter, okay, with butter. I think this one is the uh, sweet tea. Yes, this is the peach sweet tea that came in there. And then it came with, one I already have, which is in the Sweet Candy. It came with a medium size one, um, but I have it in a full size. Yes, right here. Um, what else is in here? I have the Mango uh, Lip Sleeping Mask. I did make a video about that if you would like to see it. Um, one of my favorite ones is the Mint Cocoa. Um, a top favorite of mine is the chocolate. I do have two of these because I lost one, was devastated, and it's in my bag, but I do have two of those. Um, this is the original one in berry. And then I think this is the pumpkin spice that came out last fall. Um, you might hear my phone going up. It looks like we're going to have a little storm heading our way. This is one of those Amazon... Um, finds that everybody went crazy for in the last year with the little applicators that like stick on top of your age. So it goes like that and you can just basically pull it out when you need it. What other flavors do we have in here? I have peppermint. That was a holiday one. Um, some of these I've gotten from third retailers. This is the apple lime one. I got that one from a third party retailer on eBay. Um, I think this is Gummy Bear. I don't have the full size one, but I'm not a big fan of that one. So it's going to stay a mini. This one, this Lemon Sherbet, they need to come out with a full size one of those. I'd buy that. I'd buy that. And then I think the last one in here is Ginger Snap. And it does smell good. Like this one and the peppermint one, I was actually shocked about when I got it. So that basically has all of my Laneige uh, lip sleeping mask in there. Okay, you guys. Oh, no, I forgot to show you one. This one right here. This is the cherry blossom one. Um, they did just recently re-drop this again. Um, it is definitely going to be a, uh, it's very unique. It tastes like perfume if it gets in your mouth. I'm just warning you. It's my least favorite because, as you see, they have a theme of going of, like, food flavors, you know, going. And then they drop this one. Um, and I'm and the formula also feels different. I'm just, the formula feels different. It It's just, it's just basically, like, nothing like they've ever met before. If you like that type of thing, then you'll probably like that. If you like flory, floral, like lip balms and stuff like that then I could recommend that to you but for someone like me it definitely had a perfume scent taste the formula I just didn't care for so she's sitting down in there so in this drawer here I've kind of put more of my everyday items that I would use so typically the things that I always use when I put on my makeup so um in here I have the glowish um, by Huda Beauty. This is their Glow Jam. So it's a silicone free smoothing primer because I do have pores on my face and I'm trying to hide all of that. This mini color switch pan, I think I got this from Morphe quite some time ago. Um, my Tatcha water cream. I do have my minis I'm still trying to use up, but I have a full size one. Um, this is actually a new favorite of mine. This is the Laura Mercier Blurring. Um, this is their Pure Canvas Primer. I'm really liking that for blurring the um, pores. Um, something that I did not think I was going to like was this uh, Laura Mercier. It actually came in, I want to say, 
one of my last um, BoxyCharm boxes that I received. Um, it's the Mattifying Oil-Free Moisturizer, and I really like this. I'm quite shocked that I liked this, okay? Um, what else is in here? My sample of my NYX Pore Filler. This is actually, I like this one a lot better than the Benefit Professional one. Um, I don't know why. It's weird. This product is a little, it's, I don't know. It's just something about it. But it's like my favorite drugstore um, pore filling uh, primer. Okay. Uh, what else is here? This is just the cartridge for that Moon uh, eyeshadow shield that you've seen up in my drawer up there. Um, some lashes that I have been currently using. These Ardell 3D Mink Lashes. I think I got these in a giveaway. So trying to put some things to use you guys um and then back here is just my sigma color switch so basically i think i showed this in to you guys in part one and decided to move its placement it needs to be washed but um it's the um sigma um switch and basically has different little sections for different type of switching your um products so it has the eyeshadow section blending creams this part is for blush and then the bottom part is supposed to be for highlighter so and it does work and it's nice because you can just wash it off and keep using it so now we're going to get into each one of these drawers of my alex 5 drawers you guys and you can get this from ikea if you're just wondering so let's get into that top drawer first drawer guys you can see my little purple koalas <laughs> anyways don't mind me so first drawer basically starts off with some eyeshadow products so this organizer does come from um ikea i'm sure it's probably only a few dollars you guys um i will tag it if i can find that product for you but in the back back here we have eyeshadow primers and such um, quite a bit, I will say. So the first one you'll see in here, this one is from Urban Decay. This is the eyeshadow primer portion. This is the original one. And I'm sure it's probably time, like I said, it's time to declutter some things. New one that I have, this one is the Juvia's Place. This is the Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. And I got that in the color two. It's kind of like the tannish kind of color. So that's what it looks like. And it looks like it's separating in there, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, so that's in there. That's a new one I need to get to. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Intensify Artistry Wand. So it's supposed to be like basically the same thing like a primer or um, basically like a product that's supposed to intensify the eyeshadow. I haven't used it yet. As you see, it's brand new, but I got to use that. I've been using the eyeshadow, but I always forget that I have the primer. Of course, we have an oldie but goodie. This is the P. Louise base that I have, and I have it in three colors. The original color here, which I think is Rumor 2. Um, I do have it in Rumor 4, which is a little dark um, on me. And then my color is the Rumor 3, so, or Base 3, but it says Rumor, so. And then I do have this one from e.l.f. Um, I would say it's pretty much what it says. It's okay. It's not the best. It dried out really quick on me. I probably need to declutter this one. I don't think I can put any moisture in there to, like, bring it back to life. <laughs> Um, who else is over here? I have some samples of the Too Faced Glitter Glue over here in this corner. I have this one from Lamcom, which is actually one of the first uh, eyeshadow primers that I got. And I really love it because it's basically in my skin tone, but they don't make it anymore. So y'all, I try and keep this locked down and use as much as I possibly can until it better like dry and crack before I get rid of it but I love that as you can see I, I still have the box but they only make it in like the what should I say like that palish pink type of primer that you normally see on eyeshadow primers now 
kind of looks like this one if you know what this one looks like so this is the uh abh um eye primer you guys this is just a sample size of it and then i did get this one this is the shaker one from kvd beauty so they said that they made this one it's supposed to be a high impact eyeshadow primer so this came out when lots of people were doing like very bright colorful um eyeshadows was like the theme i want to say about a year or two ago not to say people don't do it anymore but they say and i'm just probably this is probably just a rumor i don't know but it does have some color payoff now when i used it i noticed that my eyeshadow was skipping around it wasn't the best when i first used it it was really good but i don't know if something changed or what but it was supposed to be used basically for darker skin complected women because um color payout changes on deeper tones so instead of using like a, a regular eye primer base a lot of people would use like a white base to get those colors to really pop on their eyes so they are saying that you wouldn't have to use that with this but i didn't i seen some people use it and notice that their eyeshadow was a lot more um bright um, it had better payoff, but I don't think it really hit the market the way it should have. So I don't know. I might have to look up some YouTube videos on that. But then I also have the Fenty Beauty Eye Primer um, base as well. The Pro Filter Invisible, I think is what it's called. So yeah, I think it's time to get rid of this one. It's looking kind of icky. Yeah, I think it's gonna, I think I need to make some decluttering videos. Can't you tell? <laughs> So that's in there. Down here in the corner, I do have two um, matte eyeshadow colors from the Too Faced collection. This is the Milt Melted Chocolate. It is the 24 hour crease proof, waterproof, uh, long wear liquid eyeshadows. And I have them in hot chocolate and armoretto. I'm sorry, chocolate wine and armoretto. Excuse me, I lied about that. I have two of the Kaja, this is the Moon Crystal Pigments. I have it in Dark Matter 8 and then in um, Cosmic. And they basically look like this, you guys, if you've never seen them. This is what it looks like. Um, but I keep those around just because of like, if I'm just feeling the need to do something extravagant, then I'll do use that. Or if it's like for a party or a theme party or something like that, Halloween time, hint, hint. Um, and this little area, I have all of my loose pigments pretty much. So I have this one from Artist Couture. I don't even know if it's a loose pigments or a highlighter. I don't know, but it's in here. Um, it's the uh, Spotlight Glitz. I have a Meech and Mia. This is their purple. Um, I guess it's just called purple. I don't know. So a lot of these I got from um, Ipsy. So, like these ones. I, yeah, like all of these ones I pretty much got from Ipsy. This one is from Fearless. Or it's called Sinister. It's a loose eyeshadow pigment. Another one I have is called, it's from M Princess Eyeshadow Melting Maple, which I think is really pretty. Oops. Then I have this one from uh, Marsk, Sydney, London. It is called Your Toast. It's a mineral eyeshadow is what they're calling this one. I have all these little ones from Naked Cosmetics and they come came in a little set, you guys. So the first one I have is called, I guess they're calling them um, Serena Nevada. Um, oh, they're from Serena, no. They're calling these one, two, and three. So it just says SN2. I'm guessing it's gonna be SN1, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, pretty much four. I'm lying to you. Yep, HE4 and NN1, I lied, and SN5. So those are what they look like. And they're actually really good. They have really good color payoff 
I've used this purple one a couple times. And I have not heard anything from Naked Cosmetics. Have y'all? I don't know. Some of these products in here, I've been in here for a while, but I would think that you would hear some things about people, but so maybe sometimes you don't. I don't know. Um, but those are the ones that I have, you guys. Um, this one is also by Artist Couture, and it's called Nebula. And then I have the little ones that came from Fenty Beauty, which were part of their um, holiday collection. I think it was like their second holiday collection. Um, so we have, what are these colors called? Ice Cream. We have Foxy, which is like this reddish one. So you can kind of see the colors. Um, this one is called Cleopatra. This deep, beautiful blue one is called Glacier Gang. This black, it looks kind of silvery, silverish black, is called Brain Freeze. This maroon one is called Raspberry Rave. And then this purple one is called, haha, -ha, my birth month, February. Let me turn my phone off or do not disturb because it's definitely disturbing me. I don't know about you. Um, up here, we also have some single eyeshadows, you guys. So one is called, this is the uh, Bomb Cosmetic Meat Matte. And that's what it looks like. What else do we have? This one by Carmella Cosmetics, also from Ipsy. Very pretty dual eyeshadow pans. Dose of Colors. Very beautiful color as well. That one is called I Need Space. This one from Element Beauty, also got that from Ipsy. It looks like this. I really like this like orange or like mustardy yellow. I thought that was cute. And it's called the Up and Smoke Sierra Eyeshadow Duo. also have some more mini eyeshadows. I'm not going to go through all of these, but just so you can kind of see what's in here, because it's a lot. I could talk about each individual eyeshadow if you really, really wanted me to. Um, but this um, Colored Rain one is called Champagne Life. It's a beautiful gold. Um, I have all these little ones from Ibby Beauty. That one is called Cinnamon Roll. This one is called No Running. This other little tiny one is called Wild at Heart. I got all these from Ipsy. And these are, I've decluttered a lot of stuff, you guys, before I ever made this, but it seems like I need to declutter again. Um, eyeshadow, um, liquid eyeshadows. So I have this one from Violet Voss. Another one from Chiate London. I've got, of course, some from Stila. Um, I don't know who this is. <laughs> who are you? Who are you? I don't know. Lucky, I think I said. Some more Stila Beauties. I got this little compact from Kaja Beauty. Oops. And it is called Orange Blossom. It's number two. It's my first little Kaja set. And it's really, really pretty. Ooh, let's get to the bottom one. I think that top one is just like a little mirror. Yeah. What else do we have in here? We've got some Marc Jacobs. One size that I got from um, Ipsy. Some more Stila's. I have some crayon eyeshadows in here. These ones are all from Fenty from her... Um, also from her um, holiday collection. They came out the same time as the loose eyeshadows. Another Fenty one. I'm just, stuff is just falling, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, more Fenty ones, different colors, like golds. Um, I think people weren't a big fan of these be just because um, they don't, they're like, 
the type of product that once you put on your eye, you need to hurry up and blend it out or else it's going to be looking pretty, pretty crazy. I've got this little mini caviar from Laura Mercier in Strapless. And then I have a full size one. I don't think I've ever been used. I think it's in the color Sienna. I think it's like a dark orangey-ish red or something like that. Yeah, or pinkish or something like that. Let's see. That's what it looks like. And then this one, I've actually worn this one from Beauty For Real, and it's called the Shadow Stick 24 Hour Eyeshadow, and it's called All Day Latte. So I'm gonna put all of those back, you guys. These are all color switch pans, just different kinds. This one's from BH Cosmetics, just a black one. Um, this one is from Lavish. I think I got this one from my beauty box. I just don't know which one. This one, of course, is from Ulta. It has like the like switch pan here. And then if you needed to like get something wet, you could put it in there. So that's what that looks like. And that's pretty much the first drawer. Second drawer, you guys, we are getting into mascaras and some other eyeliner products. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot going on here. So in this little part right here, I just have a whole bunch of like, um, what do they call it? Eye sharpening things, whatever you want to call them. Pencil sharpeners, different ones. Yeah. And then this little tool here is actually a, um, it's an eye curler, but this one is made from Revlon to help people who have disabilities to make things easier for them, which I thought was very smart. And I received this free um, from um, Revlon and from Influencer for my opinion. And I did that. So and I think it's on my page. And then in the back, I just have extra mascara guards for all of my... Um, or what I, not, not mascara guard, excuse me, eye curling um, guards for all my eye curlers. So that's what this is, an eye curler, excuse me. I'm so just speaking all out of sorts today. Um, back here, I just have some samples I haven't tried. This is the Gucci um, Lash by, Lash by Lash Buildable Volume. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but okay. But that's what they say is called. So it's the Gucci mascara. I also have this one back here from Giorgio Armani and it says um, eyes to kill classico. It's length volume um, mascara, so it's in here. Um, and then you can kind of see I have eyeliner products up here. So this is basically just a, from Beauty Blender, it's an eyeliner helper or whatever you can call it. So it comes with this little suction cup so you just kind of suction it on there you kind of just hold it up there and do your eyeliner so i bought that as a tool whew, many years ago probably like 2018 something like that um maybelline new york studio eye eyeliner this is just in black or no it says brown excuse me brown and then black that's just instructions on that eyeliner kit from um, Beauty Blender. This eyeliner is from Fenty Beauty. It actually came in a set of all of her gold products. I forgot what it's called, but I got that in that set. This one is from Sigma Beauty. It's an eyeliner, it's a gel eyeliner in Stunningly Ladylike. And then I have this one. If you struggle with eyeliners, you guys, this was probably the easiest one, but also like the trickiest one because it's water-based. Um, it's a Hydra liner from Sufa Beauty, and I love this freaking um, eyeliner uh, pencil, I should say, or, or brush, because for some reason it is so much easier to do eyeliner this way than it is to do it as a... Um, felt tip pen or a liquid eyeliner. I don't know what it is, what freaking wizardry they have, but it, it's really nice. The only thing is like, 
if this gets wet after it dries, it smudges. It's not easy to clean up if you mess up. So, but it is something I would recommend to like beginners as just something to try. I have extra little mascara wands down here in case I don't like the mascara wand that is given to me. So I have those and I have no idea where I got these. And I don't think it says where I got these, does it? No. I have no idea where I got these from. I've had them for a long time. But then you can see all my mascaras down here. I have this one from Item Beauty. I really like it. It's the lengthening mascara. And I just heard that Item Beauty is gone now. So, I mean, I can understand they did have a lot of missing products that just were not hitting the market. But I was shocked to hear it. This one from Il Nakiage is called Icon. It's a volume and um, intense curl mascara. I love this one from Pixi because it's a dual one. So you have the larger one here down at the bottom. And then you've got the little tiny one up here at the top. I think that's so cute. Um, one of my favorites, the ABH Beverly Hills. Um, this is the Lash Brag. A newer one in my collection from Patrick Ta. This is Four Eyes. This is the volume, uh, major volume mascara. Um, I like this one. It has not been bad. This one from Ilya is also a recent new one. It is a clean beauty brand. Um, and I'm not too sure about that one, but we're working on it. Also, another clean beauty brand is Say. This is their mascara, and there is their description. Nope, it just says Mascara 101 Black. Um, Patrick, oh, not Patrick. <laughs> Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Fetish Eye uh, Mascara. That's her little wand. This one is from Stila. This is the Huge Extreme Lash Volume. Okay. This is what she looks like. And then I know you're probably like, girl, y'all got too many mascaras. I know, but I don't use them enough to like get rid of them. Some of them I need to get rid of them. This is one I would repurchase. Like Wander Beauty has a few products that I actually like. And this one, the Wander Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Lash Mascara is one of them. This one is from um, Elizabeth Mott. It's called the... It's So Big Mascara. Uh, I probably should have colored that one. Elf. This is the Big Mood Mascara. I would say it's a pretty good um, drugstore brand. Another clear mascara I have is this Great Lash one. This is a um, clear mascara. It's trans. You can use this in your brows or your lashes, you guys. Um, the new Fenty Beauty. This is um, the Hella Thick Mascara. And then this one um, by NYX is called the Skinny Mascara Extra Mice. Um, or Mints, excuse me. I think it's probably dried out by now, but it was for my lower lash. Yeah, it's super dry. I need to replace this one. But, um, oh yeah, super dry, honey. So we're just going to take her out. But then in the back, I have tons of sample sizes from Charlotte Tilbury push-up lashes. This is Dido Mascara Extra Scope Volume Benefit Cosmetics. This is their uh, Real Magnet. Um, the Roller Lash by Benefit. This one is the Big Ego by Tarte. Um, I will recommend, let's see, probably all of them. They all do different things, so I'm not going to say. But this is a clean beauty. This is the Oma Beauty, or Oma, uh, Beauty by Oma. This is their Level Up Mascara, or Batter Boom, Natural volume Volumizing Mascara. This one from Lancome. This is the Monsieur Big I will recommend this one, Fantasize by One Size, is a newer one I just got, and it's really good. Um, Pure on Point, I can't remember what that looks like. Milk, I did not care for this one, even though it's still in here. Um, the Damn Girl by Tarte, that's one I will recommend to you. 
also this one, the Idol Lash from Lancome. Love them. And then I think this is the um, Bag, yeah, Bag Gale by Benefit. I will recommend those. So quite some different ones in here. Um, a newer one that I actually am going to grab and show you. So this is the Diamond Mascara from um, Physicians Formula, you guys. And it's basically a five-in-one product. So you can use it on your brows, on your lashes. Um, what else is it used for? It can be used as a, uh, I think it's like, wait, let me get the packaging. I'm lying to you. Let me see. Uh, let's see. So let's see. It's supposed to be a five in one multi, yeah, multi use clear mascara. So it primes, conditions, grooms, tampers, blah, 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 whatever. It can be a primer, a mascara, a uh, eyebrow gel, a hair gel, or it can be used as a uh, faux top lash coat for your fake lashes. So that's what it, they're promoting it as, okay? So this is the new gal in town, so I need to put her in there. But that's basically that drawer, you guys, okay? Drawer number three is basically has no makeup in it, but it is beauty related. Um, so now you can see that third big basket that I have down here. It just holds all of my um, beauty tools, um, skincare tools, uh, my microdermabrasion um, little doodad here. All the little um, suction cups I keep in here. Um, yeah, this was like one of the first little gadget videos I ever made. So if you can go and check that out. It's from Lux Beauty. It's so old, you guys. Um, <laughs> I'm sure the quality of the video is definitely not there. Not to say that I have much quality on my videos anyways. But as you can see, I have uh, lots of jade rollers in here. Um, different types under the eye. Vibrating ones. Um, this skin care tool vibrates. It's also from Vanity Planet. Um, who else is in here? Oh, this is basically lidocaine I use for, it was recommended to use with this. Basically, this is like a little electric laser that's supposed to help you get rid of like moles, tags, any unwanted um, skin issues, right? And they recommended me to get this lidocaine stuff. And I thought it was just like lidocaine cream. This is for hemorrhoids. <laughs> but I just kept it in there because it actually does work. I've tried to get rid of a couple of my tags. The only thing is this thing, I can only use it once. It's not been holding a charge. I don't know if I broke it somehow or whatever, but who knows but it, it it does have enough little shock to it that you may want to uh numb your area so fyi if you ever seen i've seen a bunch of people use these and actually get rid of like moles and stuff on their face i wanted to get rid of a couple of moles on my face not like the larger ones or anything but like some smaller ones but i might have to try and get another one besides going to a dermatologist and letting them charge me 500 dollars a session or 250 or whatever the session is this is a wrinkle treatment that I got from FabFitFun. Um, I have used it a few times to just keep it in the box. Um, what else is in here? All these suction cups and stuff from um, Sephora. Um, all these, um, what do I want to say? Jade stones came from Sephora in a set. So this is like an eye one. This is like a full face one. This is a Gishu one. And there's some other little things in there as well. So, but I keep all the type of stuff in here. And then I have over in this corner, this is my, another one of my Vanity Planet facial brushes. As you see, she's beautiful and purple. So she's down in here. I actually have, <clears throat> excuse me, two other facial spin brushes, but this one, She's my baby. She's my favorite because she is purple. The other ones are pink and gray. So, and she does go to do the two different speeds. Mm -hmm. 
drawer number four, um, we are starting into my blushes. I don't even want to say start. We're in the blushes, okay? As you can see, I still have these little dollar store um, acrylics, whatever you want to call them. But basically, the way I have this organized, you guys, these are all powder blushes. These are more creams and um, some duo um, face palettes or duo palettes and stuff like that are in here, okay? So, let's start in the back here. So, this one is from Tarte. It's actually probably the first blush palette I have. It's called the Blush Bazaar. It's the Amazonian Clay uh, Blush Palette. And I loved it because it had all these beautiful blushes in there, especially as a beginner. You don't really know what colors you like. And I kind of like this because it had all these blushes and then this highlighter, which I never use. But I pretty much touched um, all these blushes, it looks like. Besides that, probably that really, really pink one. But these are really nice, you know what I'm saying? So I just thought that was really something nice. I probably will always keep this because just for sentimental reasons. I have one of the Hourglass... Um, blush quads this is called the ambient lighting blush quad uh this is a ghost palette and it has um all these little lovely colors in here so number one is a blush and surreal effect number two is a strobe blush called brilliant nude number three is a strobe blush called lucid glow and then four is a blush called infinite flush and this is what it looks like. If you ever get a chance to get one of these little palettes during the holiday time, because this was a holiday time palette, I would definitely recommend that to you. Um, I used all of these, and I will continue to use them, and I will not declutter this palette. I'm just saying. Back here is a little Lancome blush I have, and it's called Shimmer Mocha Havana. Who else is back here? This is from Kaleido Cosmetics. This is a skin blush. Don't ask me why it's in the packaging. Usually I keep things in the packaging that I've never tried before. I know I've tried this blush before. Yeah. So that's what she looks like. And she is called Prima Donna. But I'm going to put her back in the packaging because obviously I have it in there for some reason. But I know I've tried it. Um... Who is back here? This looks like from the Balm Cosmetics. This is Power or Girl Power. And is that supposed to be the name? Bourbon Street? Is that the name? Are we serious? Maybe? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. That's what she look like. Haven't seen a lot of the Balm Cosmetics either. Um, just, just wondering. Where'd you guys go? Don't know. But a lot of these stamp smaller ones, like this one, this one, this one I'm finna pick up, all came from Ipsy. And that's what that looks like. It is from Ciate London. This is a luminous blush and the color Date Night. She is cute. I'm gonna have to pull her back out. I'm gonna have to set her to the side. She's kind of cute. Um, this one is from For Real uh, Cosmetics. It's called Make It Pop. Powder Wear Blush. Ooh, that's a nice color too. Just looks like she's got like a little shimmer in there. Just a little bit. And she's called, yeah, Make It Pop. Okay. This is the only loose powder um, blush that I have. And I used her a lot in the beginning of my um, makeup adventures. And it is a mineral blush called Desert Rose. Yes. By, uh, let's how you say it? Bella Pierre Cosmetics. Is, I think that's how you see it. Who else is back here? Okay, we've got two NARS blushes. Um, I know I got these both from BoxyCharms. So let's take a look at them. One is Orgasm. I think that's like a pink.
Oh yeah. So that's like a little pink with some shimmer in it. And I'm kind of actually becoming a fan with, um, ooh, look at all of that. I didn't mean to do that. He has definitely got some shimmer in it. Um, I've actually been starting becoming a fan with blushes with shimmers in it because it kind of replaces the, the need for me to even use a highlighter, which I kind of, I don't like highlighters that much anymore, but it's kind of, I'll, I'll show you the product that's kind of making me change my mind on that. But it's that formula, so I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. This other one is called Orgasm X, or 10, times 10. That'd be nice. Um, And that's what she looks like. Oh, she's like a darker kind of shade of a pink, isn't she? Oh, she's cute too. Okay. So that's what's in there. And they're brand new, as you can see, have not been used. And who is next? So this is the product that's making me like the shimmery, luminous types of blushes is because of this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk Cheek to Chic uh, Swish and Glow um, Blusher in Intense, okay? So you've got the blush in the middle and you've got this beautiful like shimmer in the like around like okay blush around this little shimmer in the middle let me get that correct and the way it looks on my cheeks you guys is just so amazing so beautiful i love how this diffuses out it blends so freaking well like a dream um another drugstore you guys should try are the um these ones from milani i need to get a couple more colors because i think this is the other one only one i have in this color and i know this is pale on me yeah i see why i'm not using it like this would be like a super hint of nothing but chalkiness on my face <laughs> time for a declutter but it is still a nice blush this one is from i don't even want to say that oriza oriza beauty this is a south beach blush it's an ombre blusher y'all this is so freaking pretty i got this from ipsy as well look at that that definitely looks like a sunset. It's beautiful. Okay. Beautiful blush. Who else is up here? We've got another Ciate London. This is their Marble Lights blush in Burnt. And I thought that was a pretty color. Uh, this, this is kind of like the type of color blushes I kind of like. These kind of like... I don't, they're like pinkish, purplish types of colors. I kind of like those types on my skin. These ones I'm definitely going to recommend to you. These are the Cover Effects blushes. And I know I gave a couple of these out in the past. But these ones, oh, honey, I got these at the um, 21 Days of Beauty from Ulta. They were like half off. Oh, I'm so glad I invested in these. This one is Sweet Mulberry. Oof. They are so beautiful. So beautiful. Even the shimmers on these are so beautiful. Oh, look at that one. That's definitely a no makeup makeup day. Oh. This one is Warm Honey. This one is Pink Dahlia. Oh, yeah. Wait till y'all see Pink Dahlia. Pink Dahlia is the fave, I think. Yeah. And there's like a bright pink one. I didn't get that one, and I should have. But so I got this one. And then what is this one? Maybe this is the bright pink one. No, this is Spice Cinema. This is kind of a deep color. Yeah. Yeah. She's given. She's given. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then I got all these ones from Ipsy as well in their Glam Bag X, which is <laughs> no longer there. I see they have revamped everything, you guys. Um, that's another story, okay? Um, these are the Patrick Ta Mono... Um, I'm sorry monochromatic can you say monochrome moment she's passionate this one is she's adorable also great one this one it's got a little bit more shimmer in it and then this one is called she's seductive more of that mulberry type of color that i like yeah yeah I said it. 
Didn't I tell you? Mm-hmm. This one is from Kaleido Cosmetics. This is the Skin Luminant. Um, it comes with three different blushes in here. So those are the colors. Soft Curl, Shimmery Rose Pink, and Silky Peach Pink. Not really my colors, but like I said, got it from Ipsy. So what what can I expect? They they even though they you tell them complexion colors, they don't tell you. They don't sing you what you want. I still got this sample card from Rare Beauty. I should just send this away, but I will try. I think this is the color I actually have. Is this the color, Joy? Is it? Yep, sure is. <laughs> so I got this in a Sephora little bundle. I think it was a Sephora favorites. And this is a liquid blush from Rare Beauty. So, and then there's, what is that, Bliss. These are highlighters in Transcend and Fluent. So we'll keep that right there. But then I got these two um, Juvia's Place blush palettes. So this is the Sahara Blush Volume 1. If you are deeper complected, even if you're not deeper complected, you could still use these. Just don't go heavy handed. Um, but these are very beautiful blushes, okay? Definitely recommend these ones. And then I have the Sahara 2. I would consider these also drugstore blush palettes, you guys. So for my lighter tan gales, and then for my deeper rich skin girls. So we got, we got, we got, we got, you know, options for everybody. They got options for everybody. On to all the cream blushes back here, you guys. So, I'm just going to kind of pull this out and set her on top of this one. <laughs> so, this first row here is basically all the e.l.f. blushes that they came out with, okay? The cream, putty, e.l.f. blushes. This is all of them, okay? And I don't even know the names. Are the names even on here? I don't even know. I don't see nothing. I don't see a name. Oh, this one says Bali. Ooh, that was hard to see. But they're all very nice, you guys. Like, they're all nice. Like, this one is called Fiji. But they could put some better names on that one. On these things. Fiji. This pink one is... Ooh, God. The writing on here is so horrible. Mm hmm Yeah, I see that. What are you called, though? Uh, Turks and Caicos. What are you called? Oof. Did I just show you this one? No, I don't think so. This one is called Bahamas. Okay. This one... Very beautiful. She is called Caribbean. This pink one here is called Tahiti. And this last one is called Maldives. Maldives, excuse me. I also have this one from Mary Beauty. It's like a three in one. It can be an eyeshadow, a lip product, or a cheek product. Um, that's fine and all. Um, it's not a bad color, but that's what she looks like. Definitely like a summertime blush, I would say. Who else is down here? I've got one that I really liked from Milani Cosmetics. This is a also a cream blush. Very beautiful. They came out with a couple of these. This one is called Coral Crush. Another pretty one. This one is from Dominique Cosmetics. This is her cream blush. I really like the packaging on this one. I love this clear packaging and it's like magnet. Yes, and soft pink. I know I didn't buy that one. I'm sure I got that from BoxyCharm. 
Um, something else should probably be cluttered. This is popped blush drops from Radiant. Blush, this stuff is so sticky, it's disgusting. <laughs> this one is called Bichette. It is from the um, Gucci Westman at TA. This is also a very beautiful color. The packaging is everything. They are very expensive. I got that free, though, from um, Influencer, you guys. I'm telling you, get your butt on Influencer. I can't say it enough. This Kaja one and Frisky number four. So it's like the stamp, y'all. So you got the stamp up here. You put it on, a, put it on your face. There you go. Cream blushes from Fenty. Um, still a really good staple in here. So I have peach face, this is the peach one. I need to get to using these cream ones. This one is very pretty. That purple, don't show up purple like that. It's it's, 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 a, it's a whole different conversation. Um, it's called Drama Class. Um, this one is Fenty Glow. And then the last one is Rose Latte. Very beautiful colors. These ones are from LYS. I got these during the holiday time, you guys. So you have high standard. This is, oh, see, I'm sorry. They're high standard blush. Excuse me. This one is unforgettable. Ooh, I'd be reading the wrong information. This is unforgettable. This one I just showed you was Empower. I'm probably sure that y'all saw that before I did. And then this last one is called Grateful. Mm hmm. This was like, it was cheaper to buy these as a set than it was to buy one blush from them. These back here are just dual blushes that I probably need to declutter from Pacifica Beauty. They're vegan, cruelty free. This one is called the Cherry Glow, Cherry Gold. It's a highlighter and a blush. Okay. Um, yeah. The highlighter is called Rose Gold in Cherry Spirits. And then this one, same thing. Um, this is a coconut blush infused brush. It's beaming and tender heart duo brush. And then I have two from um, Natasha Nadella. This is the diamond and gold palette. And we have diamond powder in duo glow. Very pretty. This one came from Boxy Charm. It's the Cupid Cheek Duo Cream Blush and Highlighter. Very, very pretty. I think you could only get this one from um, Boxy Charm, is what I remember them telling me. This is a new friend to the group. Um, I need to get the dark one. This is the light one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pillow Talk Fair to Medium Palette. The beautifying uh, face palette, you guys. And they did their thing with this. Look at the packaging. Isn't she cute? The packaging is everything with them. But look at that. Beautiful. You can't deny it. So beautiful. But I need to get the, um, I think it's tan to dark one. So, but I got the light one because I figured the light one would go out first. And... All of the blushes, my friends. The last drawer, highlighters. Okay, pretties. Last drawer is all of my highlighters, okay? So this is the last drawer going through. So first thing you probably see is this Bridgerton. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Bridgerton Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter. They gotta stop with these long ass freaking names, like for real. Ain't nobody got time to be sitting up here for doing all that. But I did get this at Marshall's, as you see, I got it for $20. I don't know how much this is, but she was expensive. But this is what she look like, okay? Beautiful gold. 
spam, baby. And it's not. It's like, I mean, I don't even know. That will look so beautiful on someone who was very darker complex than me, like on my mom or something. But you could even use that like on your brows, on your lids, whatever. So that's why I got it. Because she was pretty. Um, the next one you see is a e.l.f. palette. This is a highlighter palette from them. Very affordable in drugstore. So it tells you up here you've got a glitter, a shimmer, shimmer, metallic, metallic, metallic at the bottom. Kind of gives you the names and all that type of stuff. So this is what she looks like when you can actually see her. You know, without all the see-through packaging. Very beautiful. I think that's a very good palette to start off with if you're a beginner. Drugstore, baby. Save your money. We also have this one-of-a-kind <laughs> ABH Glow Kit, honey. Do y'all remember when this stuff was popular? Because <laughs> I got it. And I probably shouldn't have because, as you know, like, like, I just feel like back in the day, we just used to buy every and anything. Girl, these highlighters, they're not bad, but they just, they okay. <laughs> We got the Milk and Honey from Beauty Bakery. Um, this is the highlighter palette. And this is what she looks like. And that's what she's given. Milk and Honey, okay? The last... No, it's not even the last one. I got two other ones from very popular brands. Fenty Beauty. Also, our Fenty Beauty part of their... Um, Another hot, their high, uh, high, uh, holiday collection. Good God. Um, very beautiful. Classics. I don't even think they have any of these shades. Um, not all of them. Anyways. Um, honey Slope. Coppin Ice. Chills. Cold Stone. Um, scandalous. Uh, Sub-Zero. Heartburn. Nah, they don't. I, I don't even think they've even brought those back out. The last one we have in here is from Huda Beauty, the 3D highlighter palette. And, ooh, well, maybe not. <laughs> That's what she looks like. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I think these came in like, you know, fair, medium, and deep, I think. Yeah, this one is the Bronze Sands edition. And then I have this one from Fenty Beauty as well. So, again, you see these dollar store acrylics. You see how they come so, like, they become, like, really nice and easy. Because I can literally just lift this out if I need to. Lift this one out. I could move them around. I could make room for other little things. So, that's why I kind of, like, like those. I have room to grow. Um, if I, if anyone ever thinks I'm deserving a PR, <laughs> but this one is definitely all Fenty Beauty. So we'll go through all of these Fenty Beauty products. Um, this face palette, you guys, <coughs> excuse me. So this is what it looks like outside of the packaging. And then on the inside, if we can get her open. These are all, <coughs> excuse me, Diamond Bomb Triple Drip is the palette, is that's what it's called. It's the all over Diamond Veil palette. So you have Fussy, you have Fancy Glow, and then Hot Chocolate, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know why I'm choking. But that is what it looks like. And then in here, down in this lovely thing down here, we have all these Fenty um, highlighters and such. So this is a Fancy Glow um, Diamond Bomb. It's a mini one i got in one of their little mini sets there's also this other little mini one and this one is in sandcastle so i have their sticks their fairy i think it's called fairy bombs in here some of their um <clears throat> excuse me they're kilowatts, and then these are all diamond bombs as well, okay? So these four down here were the fairy bombs. I have uh, Chapa Chill. Is that the same one that we saw over here? No, that was Chopping Ice. Okay, Chapa Chill. We've got 
rosé on ice. I'm not going to empty these, oh, empty these, open them because they are very messy, okay? Very messy. Of course, we have Trophy, trophy Wife. Sorry about that, guys. I had to make sure I wasn't still coughing on camera. Um, this one is called 24 Cray. All very beautiful, super highlighted. These ones are a little bit more on the chunky glittery side but if you wanted to use them as like an all body all over body glitter or something like that i definitely could see that back here we have the iconic fenty matchsticks <clears throat> i have one in rum and another one in confetti and then i have this mini one down here in cinnamon okay okay focus cinnamon can we can we focus there we go cinnamon so this is what the first two look like. And then this is what the little mini one looks like. This is one of their recent highlighters I got and I have not used it yet. It's the Liquid Kilowatt Fluid Freestyle Highlighter. And I have it in the shade Hustler Baby um, 2.0 number three can we thank you thank you thank you sir um <clears throat> i have not used it yet okay so and here we're getting into like the classic first highlighters that came out so i'm sure i got a trophy wife in here somewhere but this one's not trophy wife this one is the kilowatt mean money and hustler baby <clears throat> was my first highlighter from them classic trophy wife this other one is a kilowatt foil, and it is in Sandcastle and uh, Minted Mojito. And then these last four are all of our diamond bombs, okay? Just trying to keep things a little configured and organized here. Thank you. This one right here is called Royal Icing. It's like a gold, champagne-y kind of color. The next one is Rosé Rave. Kind of like a pink. The classic, how many carrots in her first one, of the Diamond Bomb, or yeah, Diamond Bomb collection. And then Cognac Candy. Ooh, look at that baby. Yes. They all give what they're supposed to give, right? I think so. And then in the back, you guys, I just see this is all like a Fenty moment right here. But in the back, <clears throat> we have a whole bunch of stuff that I probably should be cutting. Um, but we've got that classic Too Faced Diamond Light. That pink one. Bam. I know I got that from BoxyCharm. <laughs> this, I think, is, yep, this is a Makeup Geek highlighter, and it's broken. It's called Midnight Sand. For some reason, I fell in love with this one from Girlactic, y'all. <laughs> it's, um, it's called Skin Glow Sunset, and it's like a duo. But it looks so pretty on my skin, and I really fell in love with that for a while. This one from Ciate London was another, like, first for me, because I was really into Ipsy, and they sent this to me. Very pretty. This is a Jaclyn Hill highlighter and Awestruck. This is the mini highlighter or mini illuminator. I didn't even see the name on that one, but let me see the name on that one. It is, oh, it was Awestruck, duh. This one is from Hip Dot in Cosmetic, or Cosmic, this isn't Cosmetic. Kind of like a bronzy copper. Another Balm Cosmetics. 
this is a does this say a blush oh wait you're not supposed to be in here but i guess we'll look at it anyways yeah you're a blush but that's what they looking like cute though we'll take that out of there Who else is in here? So we've got some liquid ones. This one is from Iconic London. It says Illuminator, but I, I don't really use Illuminators in here like that. So um, <clears throat> that's what it looks like. I need to shaken up a little bit. Who else is back here? This one I think is from, this is About Face. I don't even remember what this looks like. I need to, yeah, I don't even use these particular products on my face. Like, no, no, but the, the packaging is super cute though. You can't deny that. This one from Rare Beauty in Flaunt. Very pretty. I've never even used this one from Milk. Do you want to show it to you? It's called Lit. <laughs> um, High Beam by Benefit. <clears throat> this is too pink for me to use. As you can see, it's so light. I don't even know why I have it in. Probably because I got it and didn't realize how light it was. Look at that. Who else is in here? Kaja. This is really cute. This is a... Moochie Glow and Toy Alien. Another Luminizer, and it is from who do we know? Who is this? Uh, we uh, I don't know who that is, but I know I got it from Ipsy. This one's from Flesh. We ain't heard from Flesh either. This is called Twitch. We ain't heard from them neither. Look at that. I don't know. Maybe that's why they're not in business. I don't know. Um, <laughs> this one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a loose pigment highlighter and peach fuzz. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, a little bit. Estate. This is Do Me, a baked highlighter powder. Can't speak. Very pretty. I like baked products. I just feel like they're... I'm not sure. Hush. I just think they're really good. I feel like they blend out really well. Yeah. A lot of the stuff I need to declutter. This one is by Radiant. It's called Radiant. It's a Radiant Glow Highlighter by Ibby Beauty. That's pretty cute. Have I used that one? I don't think so. It's a little dry. And then our last one in here is by who? Lovecraft Beauty Highlighter. In what shade? Um... It says Barillas, 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 Barillas. Oh, it's not even on the back side. <laughs> oh, I've used it. Just cute though. So guys, that is the end of all the highlighters. And the end of part three, look out for part four. Um, that'll be the end of this series, you guys. But I hope you liked all of this collection as you see we're gonna to have to be having some declutter videos as we are going along which is not a bad thing that's a good thing because we realize you know we've outgrown certain colors <laughs> that don't match us um we have things in our collection that just are not for us we may not like how they look the textures the feels which is all fine um but you know what i say in all my videos you guys i hope you have a lovely and beautiful day i hope all is well with you and your families and i will see you guys in the next one love you bye